What's up guys, thanks for tuning in, this is Fat, and today is actually my second video in which I'm gonna be talking about Aperture. I have originally submitted another video in which I was explaining in details what Aperture means, what depth of field is, what is f-stop, so in case you haven't seen it guys, I do suggest you check it out. I am probably gonna uh, post a link in the description below this video so you can see it, watch it folks. But anyway, for those of you that have already seen the first video or you perhaps already know what Aperture is, uh, stay with me because today I'm going to show you how to use the aperture on your Canon camera. I'm going to be using 7D but it's pretty much the same principle uh, for most of the cameras. So anyway guys, um, if you're ready, get your camera and let's dive in. So before we start guys, I suggest you position your camera in front of an object so this way you can practice at the same time as you're watching this video so you can learn much faster. Now if you're ready, make sure you position the on and off button to on position and you set up your camera to manual mode by dialing the mode dial to the settings label with the letter M so this way you can manually adjust all the settings on your camera. Now in case your camera has an additional screen on the top of the camera, the first thing you're gonna notice is all the different numbers that you have on the screen. But the number that we're interested in is the one that currently shows 2.8 and this is the f-stop number or the number that actually defines the depth of field that is currently set up on the camera. In case your camera does not have an additional screen on the top of the camera, you can still access the same or similar menu on the main screen which is located on the back of your camera. Now in case you're a photographer, make sure your camera is switched to picture mode and then press the quick control button which is labeled with the letter Q. And here on this menu you can adjust all the most important settings on your camera without having to go to the main menu and this creates much easier and much more efficient workflow. Now you can go over the different settings and you can select the one that you like by um, moving the multi control button but the settings we need is the f-stop one which is currently labeled with the number 2.8 and this is what defines the actual depth of field. Now when you select the f-stop settings you can increase or decrease the number by using the quick control dial and what it happens is actually you're defining how much depth or separation you want to create between the main object and the background and as you can see the bigger the number I select the more focused the background is which creates more deep depth of field and the opposite the smaller the number I dial the more blurred the background becomes which creates more shallow depth of field and this way you can concentrate the attention more on the main object. In case you're a videographer there is actually a much more simple way to adjust the aperture on your camera. Make sure you switch to video mode and just simply rotate the quick control dial and this way you can adjust and you can find the right number, the right f-stop that you want to be working with. And this is a feature for most of the cameras when you don't have to stop your camera you can actually adjust your aperture while you're shooting. So this is it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope I was able to teach you something new. Uh, however, if you have any questions, please leave your comment below this video and if you like what I do and you want me to create some more content, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.